He listened to us yesterday. Yeah. That's <laughs> good. Would have been XOR, but he heard you. It's and still he... good. That can make you look dead. It's good against CK. It's good against Bane. A lot of low mana pool heroes in the side of Navi, of course. Yeah, and they do have a bit of a greedier draft, so it's something they could fight earlier as well. Speaking of fighting earlier, General, he's got the Triad army here. Doesn't care all that much about the rocket barrage, but the problem is just the regular auto attacks. He jukes into the trees. Oh, he gets stunned by Solo. Denied the first blood. One more auto attack was about to come out. Starts moving. Who is, by the way, your highest net worth in the entire game for Navi? Yep. I mean, ready I for some hooks. This Doom can very easily die down here. Uh, you mentioned the combo. The sleep to start it off. Dendi trying to get the max rage hook, and he will. Pulls it back in, and starts chewing his way through Solo. Quick kill to get the Pudge on the board, but now the rotation comes from the Gyrocopter. And then a bit off the mark there with the call down, as Navi were able to foot it back out of there in time. At the same time, the hook back into the tower. Dendi's heating up. That's two. Will he find the third? FN continues to dive to steady up the mana here. He's got the rot to go to work, and they're going to cage the Gyrocopter tower. But it's basically a triple kill for Dendi, even with the CK even joining the fight now. Looking for the Chaos Bolt. Reality Rift on cooldown for some time, and he's getting fogged. It is nighttime. So it looks like, oh no, no one, he tried to juke, but he walked back into the era as Dendi closes the gap, he's got the stick charges, doesn't need it, four kills here, bottom, Navi cleaning up, suddenly 1600 gold, that's the Aether Lens, essentially done, Dendi off to the races already. And being involved in all those kills just means like, oh, see some action here, top lane. Oh, see so I'm a Slayer in a lot of trouble, sleep. So, oh, juggle this one off and finish the job. So, Navi, make it five <laughs> kills all of a sudden. Ooh. Brutal. Well, it's going to be rough because the more kill contribution Pudge has, obviously the tankier he becomes. And I think a lot of people underestimate how good Flesh Heap is when you're involved in those early game engagements. Oh, Sineko being chased here mid lane. Solo will find the kill. The cooldown comes through. They're going to doom it, Yara who just tries to run away, solo diving the tower, but he needs to back off, he can't sustain this level of damage, nature's profit, maybe he can oh. rotate it, and he's gonna find another guts him, straight through the Doom's mouth, rips those teeth right out, and Dendi is officially on fire already. Man, just don't put him mid, that's that's all I ask. And have a Dendi on your team, or, yeah, Dendi's or something similar. He's a player for sure. Oh, Solo moving up the ramp here as Vega looks to equal the score. They are going to find General Sprouts himself inside the flames. Right on top of the MPMP. How convenient. Tornado secures it. Narrowly missing Arkstyle, though. They do get the last hit. And Arkstyle now walking forward. Dendi gets doomed. Deleted from the fight. That's the hero you want to keep out as they run down the Bane. Slice him up with the sword. Very well executed, but yeah, Ra's gonna look to turn this. That Doom's ending fairly soon. They're gonna pull him back in. Phantasm gets popped, gets the second illusion, and we'll go to work on Solo. Orbs crashing through. They just need one more poke from the aisle. They get the kill. Well, they Doom the Pudge, but they still end up losing one. And that's the one they relocate. Oh. Back towards top. Call down's coming, though. They are on the man in front, but he's walking right into a lot of magic damage. Dropping quickly. Still with the Slayer. Very low. In his own right. The tornado comes through. Splits the wickets. Navi dodge away from it. The profit ult as well. Connecting. Dick Yara being forced to turn tail and run. And now General in deep. Drops the trance. Lays out. Still with the Slayer. Turns back for no one. FN looking for the TP away. Uh, no, not going to end up making it out. No one does get trapped. But Mag here to turn the fight. And then the grip, art style, locking him down, and he too will devour another and look from the river where Dendi's coming, trying to light up the hook, is he going to save General or score the mag kill? What's it going to be, Dendi? It's going to be dying there! He ends up hooking his buddy away, but the flames chase him to the end of the earth. There is a dismember ready, and even the creeps want a piece of this sweet solo action as art style gets involved, but actually solo able to man fight Dendi, denied! Oh, classic punch! So frustrating! Doesn't even get the credit for the kill. Static Storm now dropped this fight. Just keeps on going. 11 to 14. The score in 11 and a half minutes. And at long last, the disengage. They didn't even get the punch kill. Meaning that uh, he's going to be in that range. Right, right. Uh, bet on the Blink Rider. It's only 12 minutes in. Reload bottom. Blink Rider. Uh, maybe need to rotate here to the bottom lane because FN's getting overrun. Navi do find a kill. Though, they're fairly low and Solo marches in. Has the Doom available. Goes to work with the Infernal Blade, bringing Dendi low. The Io keeps him in fighting shape and they go right back. And we'll end up escaping. Very good control there on the Io. Sure. But I think it's more just like you want a BKB maybe. 
just to make sure that you can get full duration dismembers off, because that's a huge chunk of your damage. Oh, here comes the smoke. Oh, no one. Just sidestepping the hook there. And now they're going to counter initiate. They have found Eddie down to the river. Arkfell also caught out. insta do on him. They bring the punch low, looking for the relocate save, but they end up dumping the punch as well as the bane. Get your round. Going to be next. Io's coming back. Oh, can they run him down? Blaking forward, roasting that Chaos Knight. Low, not dead just yet. Io, there to keep him funny chip, and suddenly he finds himself back in the middle of the river. It's almost oh, like they forgot total. about him. Do you roast still living? Sonico's still oh, living. Oh, How do they do it? They survive for hours and days, and well, until the Io goes pop. And Jen says, man. yeah, forget about that, man. I'm CK's alive, dude. Oh. Uh, Vanguard completed for the Doom. Yeah, uh, this is a Crimson coming Crimson out. Crimson Guard coming out to deal with the Chaos Knight, I suppose? It's okay. I mean, it gives you a little bit of armor, too. Definitely an unconventional choice, as they look for a glimpse, and they will find it in the mid lane, but there's the relocate save, and Navi may set up a counter initiate. They've TP'd in the Pudge as well. Nature's Prophet always able to arrive. So while these heroes will be going back... Time the hook, let's go! There's the hook works too. The FN, they pull him in, the defenders, and they jam him down with a quick stun! From Ditya Ra, however, they have caged the Io, bring him down. Now look for Ditya Ra, who's doomed, and this fight won't ever relocate. Save last one as well, that's some hate. Your Chaos Knight won't make it out. Arc style, well, he rambles into the midst of Vega's entire four-man squad. Oh, now God. another good scrap with the Infernal Blade follow-up, laying into General. Dendi looking for the hook, he's gonna find Zolo, but can he kill him off? Now the Cold Snap, this is a Pudge's worst nightmare. Cold Snap with the Rot going, taking too much damage. Infernal Blade, who do they want? It looks like they're going to turn the other direction on to General. They let Dendi live. They'd prefer to get the juicier target than the Nature's Prophet. Also, the squishier one. They bring him down, and now they look for Dendi, too. It's four dead. It might end up being five. No one with the triple. Mag on the chase. Goes for the rot, and I will again deprive them of the Pudge kill, but for this reason is because you don't have a blink for initiation and you're relying solely on like immaculate positioning to land a good hook whereas blink lets you set up for the hook and bkb just lets you get the free dismember well they are going to make the jump here on the day looking for the relocate back and Sunenko is going to keep his buddy alive for the time being they also glitched the era around that moment so the hook comes in from distance and pulls him back but he's already been doomed with the arm lift on he's got no health to work with they won't be able to save their chaos knight down he goes again the io also falling after. Now we know the Invoker X is going to have a big impact. Still remains to be seen if Dendi's will. As Vega just hunting. They're looking for General. Sunshine comes through and it is going to get the vision they need. Now the Duke comes out and General gets trapped. No army to back him up. Down he goes. Another pick. Vega. This or, uh, or Vega, rather, you mean. Yeah. So if VP, so, I mean, looking ahead of that, VP, even if they win two games, if Vega wins this one, they would be tied. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I meant, so. yeah, I meant Vega, yeah, not, yeah. not VP. So, a win, a, only the one win here, and that slides out for VP. Big match for Vega. They glimpse back art style, trying to isolate him. Dendi now on the way out. The tornado comes through a bit off the mark, but they have thrown out the veil of Discord, even through the Flesh Peep level 3. It doesn't matter. Dendi down. Navi just pummeled again and again and again. Yeah, you hook Doom and he Infernal Blades you, you lose like three quarters of your health because of Scorched Earth and all that, and you're just like, well, I'm dead. Speaking of the hooks, he does find one. It's at a good angle, but FN with the quick BKB. They're now going to go with the Cast Knight Pops. No BKB, but still gets last of all BKB. The illusion's caved in by FN on the Duracopter, and now committing all sorts of resources to try to be done to Yara. Look for the armlet toggles. Can he get it up? Looks like he should be able to survive. Now, Stendi trying to turn this fight does get the Doom pick in the end. So that's something at least, but FN runs on the dark up to two support oh. down. Finds another hook, brings down no one as well. Can he get a fed too? No buy. Actually, they do have a buyback on the invoker, but it uh, seems like the dark copter should be fast enough to get away. Popping the drum charge as well. Bottom lane, General was looking for the TP out, but it looks like it won't be an easy one. Close, no cigar. Vega make it three for two, but he managed to get a melee rex. Did the Triad army coming through? Bulldog oh would be God. proud. How are they How winning? Is this happening? How is it Hey, if your CK just gets to do his thing in the fights, you'll be pretty happy. So one lane of Rax already broken open as General will dodge away from the Batrider and Arkstyle's gonna spring a counter trap. They relocate in, looking for the mag grab and they will find him while Dendi holds the line in the bottom lane. The Hera though, pretty low here. So Nako, can he bring him out to safety? BKB gets popped. He's gonna have to leave him oh. behind. He does get finished off in the end. The Io ends up relocating out and well Bottom General Rax. doing that rat thing. Working on the range Rax here. My god, this is so annoying actually for Vega. It's so f like they he, can't TP. Are you kidding me right now? He okay, didn't he's... even build to rat. He built a buckler, a Vlad to the drums, and now he's now he's blink dagger maelstrom to split pushing the map. He's treants. Oh god. Painful stuff for Vega. Might be death by a thousand cuts.
They'll hang on to the Ranger X for now, but eventually you know it's going to fall as they make the move, relocate on the Seal of the Slayer. Dayara chops them up, and also the top lane, their head's going to last, so it looks like, onto the Nature's Prophet. And they may be able to run him down here. They're also working on Solo in the mid lane, but he's very tanky. They get the Nature's Prophet, kill it one for one. And man, Solo on that Doom is not an easy he's grab. He's stuck! Oh Finally my god! Finally gets pulled by the Reality Rift into the trap and then gutted by Dendi from behind. That is an ugly and very bloody way to die, but I would down be, he goes. I would be so triggered if I was solo right now. I, the way I, they... If I were Vega right now, with all the hooks and shenanigans from Navi, I'd be pretty tilted as well. It's just the way that he got Reality Rifted that he got stuck. Well, he goes for the Reality Rift again, but this time FN with the BKB, the Cold Snap is open again! Dendi with the hook! Saves the day, but DR on the end of going down. Tether. Oh, it was close. No cigar this time. No armlet toggle for you, sir. Sunstrike coming through. Kill off that pesky little ball, you bastard. Come back. They're running him down through the trees, but can't easily escape from Mag, and they will get the kill in the end. Vega right. grab four, and that has to feel pretty good. But bottom lane, disadvantage. Uh, they haven't closed out the game yet. Uh, uh, any like key points that they need to be focusing on is oh solo <laughs> making the move he is gonna go with the doom on the daddy infernal blade gets unleashed but that's a tanky punch it's not gonna be an easy kill more heroes chasing it's a nico there to try and bury him back up and well it does good glitch back this could be trouble for dendy can they lock down the ion keep him out of the picture it looks like they can sudeko relocate not enough in the end and is gonna be forced to back off towards mid well, he tried his best. Unfortunately, like we said, Doom pretty damn good against Pudge. Yeah, and that was with uh, with the IO support. Still managed to get the kill. As General goes for the BKB TP, but the rotations have come in. Now the boots of travel on the gyrocopter. They are finding the mobility, Vagar, to catch Navi off guard with their pants down. Three dead just like that, and critically, the Nature's Prophet has fallen. From the buyback, depending on how much you want to pressure this. With the Aegis especially on the gyro, this is a, a super strong timing for them. Oh, they're looking for something. Dayara, he does have a Phantasm uh, available here. Is he going to make the move? They hold Solo in position. They're going to throw out the Chaos Ball. Now pulling him back into an army of knights. And Solo drops quickly. Hacks a bit. But a pretty good Disruptor counterplay. Isolating those illusions while the Gyrocopter works. So the tower will bring it down. But they want to back now. They know the hook man's he's got coming. Blake. He's got the Blake ready. Dendi looking for the jump. It's a straight hook on the FN. Who still has the Aegis though. Not the ideal grab. But now they're going to lasso Dendi. He's going to BKB and look to turn this one. FN going to work against the CK Illusion Army. Black Cannon is going to be enough. It looks like they bring down the CK. The IO just a bit too slow to save him. Sunstrike coming through. Oh, IO of to go flat. That's three down. The hook's too late. Not there with the save. Nature's Prophet. He's home. He's defending. General even is going to blink it, throws out the sprout, and looks to engage, but the Gyrocopter of FN still at the front lines. Iowa with the buyback, bait as well. They're looking desperately to hold the line here. The hook comes through, but this time Dendi off the market. FN, finally, Vega, they take her for a first Rex, and it's a melee at that, blacking off the tower. In comes the tornado. They got to be careful not to die back on these heroes, but look for the hook. Sleep to set it up. This member at the ready. No save for FN, at least not yet. Batrider coming in. They're going to try to counter Dendi. This one, he turns. He fights. He stole the Aegis. He lives to it all. They're gunning them down! Now they have lost two more of the bait as well as the Pudge out of the picture. It's up to General now. He's the man who can hold it. But Mag is already on the hunt. Blinking out, chasing forward. They want to isolate this Prophet. There's the play break. General, you can't afford to die, my friend. And there's no last, so he will make it home. But Vega says, good. We have objectives on the brain. And it's now the melee racks towards mid. Sineko, Cold Snap, Control. This could be another die back. It is the gem hits. The Dignavi are crumbling before the mighty haunts on a Vega. Oh, well, CK, can he at least help? Okay. It's just a bit. There's the crit. The kill secured. FN now. Okay, well, he's out of there, too. Well, so I TP's mean... home. After all that, they did commit a couple of murders. murder. And he is, he is the MKB now, so the evasion is, is a non-issue. Yeah. Mag. They are going to find Mag. Yes. Actually, the CK who gets yes. initiation just hacking through him. Yes. Doesn't actually drop the lasso, though. This could be big. That Yara controlled for now. So they go try to keep him alive. BKB comes out and turns on the Invoker while they grip FN during his own BKB. So both carries having their struggles in this fight, but he just goes to work. 
finishing off Solo on the Doom, and now slowed down control by the Ice Wall, driving them back. Art Sale will fall too. That's two heroes without the buyback. The Doom actually has it available. And DRS down. That's three down for Navi. It's all up to General now, pushing in the bottom lane, but is he doing it fast enough? It looks like he wants to back. Radiant He's gonna TP top. This may not be the play at all. Vega just Radiant's straight down mid. The Rage Rack's gonna fall. fall. The melee too. They can even sweep bottom for Radiant's a third lane. Navi out of buybacks, running out of gas. They may just slowly starve to death here. Beside the highway, it's all up to Dendi. Look for the hooks. What's it gonna be? Uh, Sway to the miss. That's not gonna I mean, get the job done. Even if he does hook him, I don't know if he's gonna that kill him. That has a basher. Yeah, he's gonna go for the abyssal for the CK, I think. Or the another hook, another miss. Navi may be on their last legs here, and perhaps their first loss, uh, I think, since I got here a couple of days ago. And it, came, it comes on the back of an iconic Dendi Pudge. At long last, they will wrangle him and they will punish him. Vega get their sweet, sweet vengeance. Nobody from Navi in their base at all. The game of Rat has ended. And now I've been proudly diving the enemy well to end this one with style. Oh my Punishing goodness. Suneko. A triple kill for him, but he will be counter punished by General Sprout. Four step back out. Turns with the Satanic. He's not even going to die. Dropping the items in the well. The matter plays all around. God, this must feel good for Vega. They needed it desperately. I made a couple of misplays. I still don't know about the second item, Aghanim's personal.